Hi friends, welcome back to Adi Chaar Pia Academy, Bangalore. Now we are going to see in detail about functions in Bluefism. Now let me introduce you about uh, the functions. So go to Bluefism. So here I have defined one process like the functions demo process. So open this one. So drag and drop on calculation stage. So to discuss in detail about uh, functions in Bluefism, the calculation stage is the best stage. Okay, open calculation stage. Let me assign a name for this one. Let us select a function. Functions. And it's divided into like an you know, expression and function and data items. So in between you can find like a one so one tool called like an you know, express expression function builder. For example, you can see like uh, say what are the functions. So here you can find out like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 functions are available. They will call them like inbuilt functions. We will select like, other fun like functions like conversion. 2 date, 2 date time, 2 days, 2 hours, 2 minutes, 2 number, 2 seconds, and 2 time. And again like a data, like a bytes. So date, so add days, add months, date add, date difference, format date, and format date and time, and uh, format utc date time so local time make date make date time make time make time span now today uh, and utc time and utc stands for like an universal time coordinated and the next one like environment so it's related to like you no know, servers like a bp server bp version major bp version minor get clipboard get connection get so IE version like Internet Explorer version like a major get operating system architecture get operating system version get operating system like a version major get operating system version minor get resource name get session ID get start time get username is stop requested single sign on and the next one like exceptions so exception types so you know about uh, we have already seen these exception types like like internal exceptions like system exceptions business exceptions etc like exception detail exception stage exception type and the file is like load binary file or lo and uh, load text file see the logic so and equal false greater than greater than or equal to date time is date is date time is flag number is number is time is time span less than less than or equal to not equal to or true and next one like a number so you add decimal pad divide log multiply power so round down uh, rounding and round up round square root sub uh, subtract and the next one like a text so character concatenate ends with in string left like length lower middle like a new line so replace trim trim n trim start and upward so here onwards like we are going to see in detail about each and every functions in uh, in function in, in detail about the functions so if you observe here see the logic functions we'll use like logic functions in decision stage and number functions in uh, so calculation stage So functions can also be composed in the function builder area in the center of the screen. So when a function is selected from the function list, it is displayed in the function builder along with the description of its use and any of its parameters. Parameters can be can be given values either by typing directly into the fields shown or by dragging data items from the data item list. Once the function has been built and it can be transferred to the expression editor using like a paste button. And a calculation must be specified the data item into the which the elevated result will be stored. The stored result field can be populated by typing in a data item name or by dragging in, in a like a data item from the list on the right. So when expression is when an expression is complete, so it should be checked for errors, and this can be done by selecting a process validation button. And blue person will then check the expression and highlight the likely location of the error. Once it's checked, an expression can also be evaluated by selecting the test expression button. If any data items have been used in the expression, a new expression test wizard will appear that enables temporary values to be given to each data item so that the result can be obtained. 
from the expression. If no data items have been used in the expression, the evaluated result will be displayed in a pop-up message. So, okay, should you wish to only test part of an expression, you can select part of an expression by dragging and highlighting with the mouse. When the expression test wizard appears, only the selected part of the expression will be used. Okay, we'll see. Let me take one simple calculation to explain about this one. So here I'm taking like two data items. So I am assigning a name, let us say like X, the number, so initial value is 10, and another data item is like Y, the data type is number, and the initial value is 20, say like a calculation. So if you observe here, here I am going to perform like you know, some functions here, like number of functions. If I highlight the any function here and the function builder opens, and it is asking like operand A, there is a left hand operand, and the operand B, there is a right hand operand. So drag and drop data items or enter values into the placeholders, right? Okay, we can drag and drop here or we can drag and drop here also. So let me use like an you know, expression builder here and drag you know, drag and drop y and if I click on like, you know, paste so it's pasted here. All right. And next one. So let me create like one data item for the result. If I click on like you no know, shortcut it will automatically create and then will goes to like a you know, number data items area. And if you click on like a validate, so you can see like the expression is valid. And let me use like you know, some let me test it. A valid expression. So here I'm giving like some testing values. Let's say like a two plus two and four. The test it. So now it is working fine. And similar to that, I'm using like a divide. So drag and drop x and drag and drop y and then paste it. Will automatically goes to like an expression build expression area. And if you observe here, the data items are always in the form of like in square brackets. And we'll store the result here. And let me validate this one. Expression is valid. A valid expression. Like a 4, x is 4 and y is 2. And test it. Now it's evaluating like that. It's giving us a result that is 2. Right, close it. And then let me use like you know, one more uh, like a multiplication. So, okay, let me test it. Validation, so expression is valid. And a valid expression, like a 2 and uh, 4, and test it. So, it's working fine. Okay, please stay with us uh, for more videos on functions. We'll see in detail about, uh, like, each and every function here. And I'll show you, like, you know, the use of, what are the use of uh, functions. So in, okay, let me give like one example for this one. Go to like a date. Now, suppose in queues management, if you like to add uh, like you know, the items, like an you know, item to queue like later, so we can use these functions like a now plus make time like that. And then we'll use like any strings. Okay, don't let me drag and drop on action stage here and select like an utility management that is um, strings and go to like we can select in strings in string uh, like no uh, so like this great please stay with us uh, for more videos on functions thank you for watching please stay with us